veterinarians will tell you that uh, pets like dogs, uh, when they get sick, generally have the same illness that the owners have. So that it's interesting, the dog is like a mirror of the owner's health uh, because they're energetically connected to each other, okay? Now, this applies exactly to where you are with your mother. Your energy and her energy are on the same band. You're open to her energy, which this is the way it is when babies are born. They have to download from the mother all this kind of information. But there's a point where you have to separate. Otherwise, then you're, you know, you're both connected to the same string. She pulls one way, then it pulls you, and, and so back and forth. And there's a way to change this because it's basically a consciousness where you allowed her broadcast, her spirit, to connect with your spirit in, in, the, in your consciousness. And, and, and then through that, uh, whatever she, vibration she's going through, you resonate with the same vibration, just like the dog resonating with the owner's vibration, okay? So there's a way to change that. You don't have to disconnect from your mother as a person, but you can disconnect from the energy of your mother uh, by changing consciousness. It's a program. It's basically a program. So it's changing subconscious. Uh, and you can do this through energy psychology uh, and change it very, very quickly. So the idea is very important for you to understand this. You're both on the same energy frequency line and you're open to her energy, which was fine in the very beginning, but you should, you know, that should have been closed somewhere as you start to mature, get past seven, eight, seven, start to separate. Uh, but you didn't at this point, apparently. And so her vibration is in harmony and resonance with yours. So whatever she's feeling, you feel it. And it would also work vice versa as well. You could also influence hers. <laughs> uh, yes. And so who's the predominant, who's the dominant one in the relationship is the, is the issue because that one will override the other one. And it's, uh, you know, from just age and development, your mother's got the dominant vibrational frequency. So there's a point where you have to change your subconscious belief and disconnect from her energy vibration. It doesn't mean you disconnect from her but it means you disconnect from being on the same vibes, like a, like a telephone. Now you're both on the same party line. You're sharing a line here and you want to stop that. So uh, the issue is really to go back and change the programming because your programming is allowing an interference and you can change the program and cut the station off. Uh, so it's basically subconscious reprogramming that is necessary to disconnect you from that, that line that is uh, between you and your mother at this point. It is doable, it is very doable. But just thinking about it, it's like, well, that's not gonna help anything. It's a belief change that you have to go through, okay? And there are a variety of change ways. Uh, on my website under resources, uh, I believe change 25, 30 different versions. Uh, 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 you know, frequently I recognize the Psy-K one because that's the one I've used uh, and I find it kind of simple. Uh, but I would say it's an exercise. It's not just I'll, I'll think about it and it'll go away. I go, no, that will not change the subconscious program. You actually have to do an effort to change subconscious. Okay, conscious mind can flip flop, go all over the place and do what it wants, but subconscious is habit. And to change a habit, you have to use a different technique than conscious mind. You have to, you know, do another effort. So uh, uh, belief change is the direction you need. And energy psychology uh, would be the most uh, rapid, effective way to disconnect this power line between you two. Because um, it's an invisible field. And remember Einstein's quote, which I just said a little while ago, the field is the sole governing agency of matter, the particle. And so if your field is connected to your mother's field, you're the physical particle that's gonna be altered by that field. You have to disconnect the field, okay? And that means you have to train the brain, program it, not to pick up those vibes uh, so that you can be separate from her. Because we're not helpless, we're not. We just have to recognize we are like radio controlled robots. And if you give the control to other people, then they control who you are as well. Uh, this happens to, with most people with medical doctors because the program in the very beginning at first uh, seven years is that when it comes to health, you go to a doctor 
now heal yourself. I said, well, what does that mean? Now I got a program that the words of the doctor now control my life, not my own belief system. And so it's a very parallel thing. The words of your mother in the field of your mother is controlling your life from some ancient program. And you can rewrite that program. And when you do that, you'd be disconnected from that conversation with her.